what's going on guys it's your boy max here with another video and in today's video i will be telling you everything you need to bring to college if you don't know i am a sophomore at the illustrious florida agriculture and mechanical university october 3rd 1887 Thank you very much. My dorm was pretty stacked, you know. I had a lot of good things in my dorm room, so I know what you need, obviously. You can make do with just a bed sheet, a pillow, and a laptop. But if you really wanna go all out and make sure your child or you yourself is straight, I got the hookup for you. So without further ado, before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below to be notified when I post a new video. Follow me at It's Really Max on everything. Let's try to get 5,000 followers on IG and to the class of 27. Congratulations on making it to the hill. And let's get right into the video. All right, y'all. So like I said, I have a long list of literally about 61 items. I'll be putting pictures here if I feel like it. And then if I'm really, really feeling like that guy, there will be an Amazon registry in my description with all the links to all the items that I use in the video. If not, cry about it. All right, so without further ado, let's just get right into the list. The first thing you need to bring is important documents. What I mean by that is your birth certificate and social security, your physical transcripts. You need all of that. Make sure you have it in like a Ziploc bag or some type of briefcase. You just need your important documents to have. That way on the first day, there's no problems. You just have everything because like I said, you are coming to college and you will be on your own. By the way, go watch my last video on college advice and tips, the truth. That's the truth. Number two, bedding materials. So that's like a comforter, twin XL sheets and fitted sheets. You will be sleeping on a twin XL no matter where you stay. That bed will be a twin XL. Yeah, I mean, be like, damn, I had a king size, I had a queen size. That twin XL, it is different. A good mattress pad or mattress topper, a bed skirt, more than one pillow and pillowcases, fellas. I don't want to see just one pillow on y'all bed. More than one pillow in pillowcases, changeable pillowcases that way you can wash them. An extra blanket, this is optional, but bed risers, you just put them on underneath the legs of your bed and they'll obviously rise your bed. Another optional thing is a headboard. I had a headboard for my twin XL. You know, you don't need it, but it made my room look a lot better and occasionally I will lean on it, so. And then you will need a bedside pocket. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like this little pouch that you can have hanging off your twin XL. I had that and I would just put my phone, a little quick, easy access stuff in there. Number three, curtains and adjustable curtain rods. Also bring a curtain for the closet if you're saying like towers or something. So the closets don't have a door. So if you walk in, it's kind of like a wall, but you can kind of go in a wall just a little bit to put your clothes in there, obviously. You're just gonna wanna have a curtain to block that off. You don't want people walking in your room and seeing everything you've got. Like I said, an adjustable curtain rod. You don't wanna go drilling or messing up their wall. Make sure you can adapt it to whatever window size you have. Number four, rugs. Number five, an iron and a mini iron board. Y'all need to iron y'all clothes. I don't know why we as a society stop doing that, but let's do that. Number six, a steam when you start hanging up stuff towards the end of the year, you're gonna have to take that stuff down. A steamer will help you get that off as well as steaming your clothes. Number seven, a trash can and a lot of trash bags. You will go through that like crazy. Number eight, a rolling laundry bag, something portable. It's depending on where you stay, it's a little distance to the laundry room, especially in like Palmetto or something, you have to walk. Speaking of laundry bags, you're gonna need washing materials, obviously, because what are you gonna wash your clothes with? Some things to get would be like detergent, dryer sheets, Tide Pod, and fabric softener. For my athletes, out there put dryer sheets and like your cleats your boots it'll help the smell of your room the next things you're gonna want is a fan i can't go to sleep without one let's say if you have like a roommate who doesn't like the ac to be cold you don't have to worry about that because number 11 a lamp number 12 a tv i did have my tv on a tv stand i didn't use my tv not one time that year family does provide free cable but i don't really watch tv i use my laptop Number 13, a microwave. Number 14, a fridge. I recommend a big one. You know, you can have like one of them little, them little mini fridges, but if you anything like me, I like to eat, I like to store things in the fridge, and you can only put like 10 full size Gatorades, one little carton of milk, and you out of storage. Number 15, an air fryer. You aren't allowed to have one, but everybody has them. I didn't make an RA room. They have air fryers. Just be cool with your RAs, like I said, which is why you need to watch what video? Thank you. Just make sure when it's time for room checks, you just put it up. They can't go on your stuff, so. Number 16, utensils and plastic bowls. I recommend plastic utensils or just like one set of metal utensils and then the rest plastic. Number 17, a shower caddy. Just something you can hold like all of your shower necessities or whatnot in there. Number 18, shower shoes. This is a big one, especially for my community bathroom people. You can get like foot infections. Just, just wrap your feet up. Wear something in them showers. No telling what's in them showers, who doing what in them showers. Wrap it up. 
to wrap my feet up. Number 19, a shower curtain for my towers and village people. Hey. One of the roommates, y'all need to get a shower curtain for the room. Get a normal curtain, like a cloth curtain, and then get a plastic shower curtain. The plastic stops the water. The curtain is for decoration. Number 20, bathroom mats. Number 21, cleaning supplies like swifters, brooms, Windex, Comet, toilet brush, and stuff for your bowls, etc. Like, I guess, what's it called? this show number 22 storage containers the rooms really aren't that big no matter where you stay so you want to definitely maximize on as much storage as you can especially for my people that has a lot of shoes a lot of clothes you don't want things that you can put in these containers number 23 a medicine bin bring medicine because you'll be on your own and you will get sick that way you won't have to worry about that when you are sick number 24 a first aid kit this came in handy for me i know one day there was a party and i think there was like a shooting nearby and i went and got my first aid kit and was down there patching people up <sighs> you couldn't tell me my auntie was not and stuffing and my mama wasn't on Grey's Anatomy because I was patching people up left and right left and right disinfecting too number 25 bring a toolbox this is very very important somewhere down the line you're gonna need to screw something together you're gonna need some type of scissors bring a toolbox Number 26, which is optional, but bring a mini safe. If you don't really trust your roommate like that, it's good to have just in case. Number 27, hygiene products, deodorant, lotion. <laughs> Be clean. Number 28, a full size mirror. This came in handy. Oh my god. You don't know how many times you're about to go to like an event or something. You just need to look at yourself. Like, how this fit look? How do I look going to this meeting? Like, get a mirror. Hang it up on your closet or something using command strips and vibe. Your parents might not agree to this, but number 29 says to bring all of your clothes. I don't care what nobody say. Bring your clothes. Like, bring your clothes. Bring your clothes. I think I had too many clothes because I would be running out of storage, but bring your clothes. There's an event for literally every piece of clothing you have. You're going to be going through them like left and right. Number 30, a suitcase. Now you would say like, I'm, I'm in college, why would I need a suitcase? But for my athletes, we travel a lot. Self-explanatory, you're gonna need something to put your clothes in. Number 31, summer and winter clothes. What I mean by summer is bring a lot of like shorts. You don't really wanna have jeans. I know when I came there, I had nothing but jeans and probably like three pairs of shorts, literally. Bring shorts, you wanna have easy to slip on things. Like, you know, if you just wanna run to the calf real quick, you don't wanna put on some type of shorts and just something. It's really hot in Tallahassee. And then nobody ever prepares for this but Tallahassee gets cold. It's always like this period between December to like February where it just stay cold nonstop. Maybe even November. Like, oh my God. Number 32, business attire. There's gonna be an informational, there's gonna be some type of meeting to where you're gonna have to have a suit. Whether it's a presentation, informational, interest meeting, who cares? You're just gonna need something presentable. Number 33, hair products. For me, I have like a basket of like wrap tail combs, grease, brushes, clamps. Number 34, the shoes you wear. I have literally like 28 pairs of shoes and I brought them all. Did I wear every last one of them? From time to time, but some of them ain't get worn for a long period of time. To me, you can never have too many shoes. That's just me. Not just me. Speaking of shoes, bring a shoe rack. I have like something underneath my bed to where I just had like my shoes stacked, which help with space. Number 36, bring an umbrella slash poncho. It rains here and there. And when it does rain, it rains hard. And professors, they do not cancel class. They do not. Listen to me, come here, come here. They do not cancel class. Bring an umbrella. Number 37, a laptop and a case slash cover for your laptop. This is my baby right here. A 14 inch MacBook Pro. Nothing but the truth, I love my baby. You're gonna need a good laptop. You know, if you can't afford a MacBook, that's okay. Get something else. There's other affordable laptops that is easily as good as this. And they get a case slash cover for it. What I mean by case, I like a little briefcase that you can carry the laptop in, like a little cloth bag or something. And then as you've seen on mine, I have like a hard showcase over it. Speaking of laptops, you get a lap desk. You just sit in your bed and it's kind of like, you know, you can sit the laptop here and yeah, I have like a little table. I also eat on that desk too, so. That came in handy. Number 38, headphones for my athletes. Make sure you have like some type of noise canceling headphones like Beats by Drake, the new Apple, AirPod Max. I can't keep up. Just bring headphones, you're gonna need headphones. Especially for my people with roommates. Number 39, flash drives. You're gonna need things to store like your important documents or, or let's say you do YouTube and you don't wanna lose your videos. Store them there. I have flash drives, but it took too long. Like, 
It took too long to upload the stuff, so I ain't never use them. Number 40, a speaker. I have a speaker. This is a Beats pill. Um, I don't really know why I'm showing you this because I haven't used it since like three Christmases ago. It's broken. Get your little speaker like that, a little JBL speaker, and vibe out when you can. Number 41, hangers. Number 42, towels. Number 43, a Wi-Fi box for your own room. Family Wi-Fi has never really done me wrong, to tell you the truth but they don't let us connect to TikTok. Sometimes it's a little iffy. And then there's a lot of things in your room that just don't connect to the Wi-Fi. Like my Google Home did not connect to the Wi-Fi. My PlayStation did not. There's ways you can go about setting it up, but it just never worked for me. So bring your own little Wi-Fi box. Number 44, extension cords. You're not allowed to have them, but you're gonna need them regardless. Hide them behind your bed or something, who cares? Number 45, an extra long charger. Number 46, this is optional, but wax melts. Personally, I like my room to smell good, so I have like a little wax melter plugged into the wall. Then I have these little watermelon wax melts. Just sit them on there and have this room smelling. A1. Number 47, a book bag. If you look there, I have two spray grounds, like two more in my closet. They get the job done. Number 48, bring tissue as well as like these little toilet seat covers. I always talk about these, but if you're staying in like towers or village, you provide your own toilet tissue. If you're like Samson or something with a community bathroom, toilet tissue is provided for you. Them junks be like one ply, <laughs> easy rippable. So bring your own toilet tissue if you want. And then for my community bathroom people, these little toilet seat covers, you can just easily sit over the toilet and do what you gotta do. For the desk area, get a good printer. My printer was nothing but the truth. Literally, I haven't changed the ink all for eight months. I had the same printer and they need to change the ink once. And I printed out many, many flyers on that printer. So just get refillable ink and copy paper. Number 50, notebooks and binders. You necessarily won't need all of these to tell you the truth. <laughs> number 51, thumbtacks. Number 52, tape. Number 53, planners. So this is structured. Um, here, you can basically like plan accordingly. So if you, let's go back to when I had school, whenever that was, let's say Tuesday. As you can see, I have like all of my classes here. It'll just let me know like an hour before each thing starts, what's next. And that's basically how I stay sane pretty much. Um, what's today's date? The 20th. Do Lord have mercy. What's happening? Exactly. It's good to have a digital form of a planner, but also have a hard copy. So just like a notebook, that's an actual planner. P4, a stapler and hole puncher. P5, scissors, drawer organizers. What I mean by drawer organizers is basically little dividers, little containers in them so where I can like sit pencils in one, pens in one, thumbtacks in one, flash drives. It made the drawer a lot more organized. It made the draw a lot more organized. Number 57, a whiteboard. I had a whiteboard to the right of my desk to where I could write whatever I want. Sometimes I would just leave encouraging messages on there or motivational things. Number 58, a digital clock. I had a clock that projects the time to wherever I pointed to, so I had like the time literally on the roof of my room. But last but not least, number 59, bring a Bible. Occasionally read a scripture here or two, try to read one a day. That's what I tried to do. I have the Bible app on my phone. Sometimes I would forget and read two or three a day but just try to you know stay prayed up and my mama keep me prayed up so she gave me like this little small thing of prayer oil that I keep everywhere I go my mama had me prayed up cuz when you think of the goodness of Jesus oh. anything is possible but yeah y'all that was my little college essential list most of them things on that list you will cold-heartedly need some of them more optional like the wax melts and things of that nature i like my room to smell good and they don't want you to have candles either so again if i miss anything it'll be in the pinned comments of this video or my description and make sure you like to subscribe hit that bell notification down below to be notified when i post a new video follow me on all social medias follow me you see it follow me here and be on the lookout for my next video. And to Family 27, again, congratulations to making it to college. To the parents out there, congratulations on getting your child to college. And I'll see you on the hill.